Um, it's really hot out here. Do y'all have any ice water? I was like, wait a minute now, he's trying to get me. But uh, he was a nice looking guy. But he was just nasty. And you know you have to be mentally prepared to wash your hair, especially natural hair. Y'all know. I was like, oh, I want some chips. It's just God telling me to be still. Just, you know, wait to hear his voice. Hey y'all. <clears throat> hey y'all, this will be the start of a new vlog. It is Friday. I am off work, as y'all can see. Um, this will be, like I said, we'll start a new vlog. My name is Chris. If you're new here, hey girl, hey, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. We do lifestyle vlogging over here. We do nine to five vlogs, natural hair routines, and also we complain about our nine to five jobs. I'm sure everybody that has a 9 to 5 and complain about their jobs. They're blessed to have their job, but they do complain. And I do too. So <laughs> if you like what you see, make sure you um, stay, share my videos because we're on the road to 3K. But anyways, I just got out of the nail shop because my nails were looking hideous. Hideous. You hear me? Y'all know I don't go get my nails done every two weeks, three weeks four weeks <laughs> child I don't know I think I got my nails done mm. it had to be like a month and a half ago child it's, it's been a while just know that it's been a while <laughs> so it was um, it was time for me to get my nails done but I think I need to go to Walmart right now because I need soap why I don't make a list I say I'm going to make a list and I don't I need soap and something else, child. This may, this will be a sort of a weekend vlog. I don't think, I don't know if we're going to do anything this weekend. I kind of don't want to do anything because, y'all, right now, it's 103 and they say it's feel, it feels like 108. So, I don't know if I want, this may just be like a around the house kind of vlog. <clears throat> I know for sure I need to wash my natural hair and my wigs. Um, I need to take got some time to do that because I've been putting that off for child longer than my nails. Yeah. I took out my, I had like flat twists under here. The other day I took it out. I was praying that it wasn't matted up. I think I blocked. Well, I didn't blog me taking it out. But I think I said, I hope they're not matted up. I hope they're not matted up. And they weren't matted up. They were they were tangled up a little bit. Um, a lot of hair came out. But, you know, that's, that's going to be the usual if you have your hair braided up or um, twisted up or whatever. So, I took those out. Um, detangled my hair. I kind of washed. I just washed this part right here. Not really just... I put some shampoo and a little water on there. I scratched up. The, I washed it. Shit. I washed it. <laughs> and I got my hair in a little bun. So I need to put some tender love and care on my natural hair. Like, seriously. I kind of don't want to put the, you know, the um, headband, headband wig back on. But it's like, it's so freaking convenient. So I may just put that back on or put some, I was thinking about putting my clip-ins in, but the way this uh, heat is set up, I don't think I'm going to do nothing with my natural hair. I seen a technique um, Ms. Naturally Mary does on her hair. Uh, she's a vlogger here, a YouTuber on YouTube or whatever. And of course she leaves her, you know, the front part out, but the back part you know the back part she just put in like a little um she put two little twists in her hair and she just put the uh clip-ins on top of that i mean and the twist that she did 
it she didn't lay them down they were just really like puffed up i'm like how come i didn't think of that because i'm always putting them actually in my i will part my natural hair then put the clip clip in it part my, the rest of my hair put the clip yeah the way she did it looks like it's so much easier so you won't have literally won't have your hair none of your hair out except just the front part like a freaking v part wig so well i do have a well do i have a v part wig i do anyways I'm, I'm just rambling but anyways i was just starting today's vlog off i'm ready to go to walmart's right right next door i'm gonna go to uh walmart and take my happy ass home joy bought me some more blueberry blackberry moonshine i'm gonna fix me a, a cup of that and i'm gonna chill out for the night because y'all already know it's that time of the month and it's just i won't do nothing good y'all <laughs> the blackberry moonshine I'm telling you it's amazing but girl I was uh, on my way home and y'all know I'm a crime junkie crime show junkie I just I don't know what it is I don't get to the point where I don't even listen to music anymore <laughs> normally I would, I would blast my gospel music I still do but some days I'm like um I just want to listen to some crime shows <laughs> so i was uh on youtube and i pulled up well i seen um who was the title child the title was woman discovers fiance's secret life after he dies on wedding day so this is about a fiance of course um they were, I guess, staying at a hotel and they were going to get married the next day. And then the day of the wedding, her mom calls her. I don't know where they were. I, it kind of slipped. <laughs> that little part slipped my mind because I, I don't think I was paying attention. You know how when you drive and you just be driving and don't be, be, be paying attention. But that little part where they were kind of slipped my mind. Um... So the day of the wedding, her mom called and said, you need to come down to the lobby. And the way she said the way her mom was talking, she knew something was wrong. She was like, mom, tell me right now, I'm not coming unless you tell me. And she was like, no, come, come down to the lobby and uh, we'll talk about it then. She was like, no, tell me. Well, she told her that her fiance died. Uh, I guess he fell out on the floor or whatever. I don't know what the details were. But um, I'm thinking when it said woman discovers fiance's secret life after he dies on wedding day. I don't know. I, I was thinking somebody poisoned him or whatever. But as she kept talking, she said that he was healthy, a healthy 30 year old. Um, and they said he died of a heart attack. Yeah, a heart attack. So after she was mourning and crying and thinking about unaliving herself um you know her her friends and family didn't leave her side because she was just you know you lose your, your fiance you're the love of your life and you just go crazy so um i think it was a year was it a year after or some months like i don't know how long it was afterwards i think it was his birthday and she was gonna post something on the um on social media about his birthday or whatever um and then i guess she must have went through his phone or i don't know what it was i told y'all when i'm when i be driving my mind just go elsewhere but this kind of stuck out she was like she was um about to post something and then i guess she went through his phone his uh dms on, those, on instagram and seen where he was communicating with this woman 
how they spent um, time together and how they he and she enjoyed her, himself her and they enjoyed themselves basically he was cheating on her all while they were together he done proposed to this woman and he's messing with some other woman and then as um, time went on he, she found out that he's been messing with a lot of women. A lot of women came out of the woodworks. So instead of her crying and feeling sorry for herself, she got mad and angry. <laughs> to the point where she was like, she gonna get herself together and if how, you know, that situation is making her feel, uh, you know, the situation where he was cheating on her, she didn't even think about it anymore. She is mad and pissed off. <laughs> I thought I was just bringing that up to y'all because I was like, your fiance died, and now all these people are coming out of woodwork saying they done had relations with them or relationship with them. Like a lot of them, she said. She was like, how could he do this to me? Like she was literally b blaming herself, and then she was like, she had to get out of that mode. She's like, damn. I don't know why I brought that up, but it was just like you feeling sad that oh my god, he's de he's dead and. What am I going to do with my life? And all this time, he been messing with plenty, I mean, three or four women, all while we're together? Girl, how would y'all feel? Oh, Lord. I could, girl, you know what? He will be every cuss word in the book. I won't even care. Yeah, I, his passing was traumatic for her. I know it was, but to know that you ooh child. That's the reason why he probably had a damn heart attack. He juggling all these damn women and then proposed girl I tell you the damn true. But anyways y'all I will I just uh the doorbell wrong. I'm like I don't know how we no doorbells unless Joe I mean Joey need to be here when he to answer the door because I don't know nothing about these folks. <laughs> But I was thinking it was some. I think I, I was thinking it was one of our neighbors, um, cause he's over to the other neighbor's house. I thought it was the neighbor, the other other neighbor on the other side. So I peeked out the door and I kind of I thought it was him, but this guy had his back turned. So I opened the door and it was a um, what you call it? a camera. Um, like a ring doorbell kind of person and if he wanted to sell somebody something that ain't <laughs> he was just talking like he was two through and I get it it is super hot and he's on one of those little scooter things and it's super hot outside it's like 103 degrees I told you it feels like 108 and you can tell he was just uh, I don't know if you heard about me have you heard about us uh, and then we do this and here's our uh, thing and uh, I'm not trying to tell you nothing I know it's probably not but this is how he was talking y'all I thought it was a I thought he was trying to you know come in on me the way he was talking uh, I know I'm not trying I'm not trying to tell y'all nothing but when is a good time I was like uh, my my husband handles all that and he's in the shower right now <laughs> and he was like when is a good time to come back I was like um next week sometime um and then it was like you know our, your neighbor and he called the neighbor's name i was like yes he was like ask him about us uh um because he's trying to sell us a dog on ring camera thingy i'm like okay and he was like i'm not trying to i usually don't do this but this time i usually don't like he was just drunk i usually don't do this but um it's really hot out here do y'all have any ice water i was like wait a minute now he's trying to get me so i was like um Sure, closed the door, locked it, <laughs> and uh, came and got him some Gatorade because we don't have any water, bottled water. He was like, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's really hot out here. I'm like, dude, it is almost 8 or damn o'clock. Why are you uh, stomping around the neighborhood at almost 8 o'clock? You sh the, your time should be over. It's Friday. It is almost eight a damn clock. You should be done with your sales work at five o'clock. Come to somebody's house at eight o'clock. True enough, I know it's light as hell outside, but girl, he was trying to get me. 
I think I'm about to. I got a new comforter. I think I'm going to wash it tonight. Because that pink one that we have on our bed, well, dark, dusty rose or whatever it is, it it just don't go with everything. And it just washes out our room. Even though we haven't decorated it that much yet, um, the curtains still need to go up. I would do the curtains. I would put the curtains up. I would. But that shit would be lopsided as hell. You hear me? <laughs> And Joey likes to do all his measuring and all that. So, I, so I'm waiting on him with the curtains. But I got a new comforter set from Amazon. Uh, I ordered one set last week. And I got a king size. I know I picked king. And they sent me a queen size. So y'all know how I am. I'm going to chat with the uh, customer service. So they can do a replacement. And they did. Um, and they told me I didn't have to even return the queen. So we gonna add that to our blanket collection that we have. <laughs> and they sent me a replacement on Tuesday. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash that and put it on our bed. It's cute. It's, it's like a dark green. And then y'all know I have those light green or sage looking green, uh, sheets on our bed now. So I think that'll look good with the goldish color curtains and the throw that we have and then we got to get some more accessories and a little rug um and and a lamp or something and some pictures we still girl we moving slowly but surely surely but we ain't we really ain't in no rush but i do want to hurry up and put those curtains up because child at 5 50 it is light as hell in our room it's just like this in our room at 5 50 or six o'clock and I can't sleep that long when it's that light in the room. So, yeah. I'm about to put, put these sheets. Well, not sheets, but the uh, comforter set in the washer. But, yeah, what y'all think about that story? I'll link it below. It's on Inside Edition. Um, let me see. Palmieri is putting her life back together after learning her ex-fiance wasn't who she thought he was. So, we met on a dating app. I was living... Child, I didn't realize they was... They met on a dating app. But some dating apps, I, I, I'll admit, um, some dating apps work. And some just don't. You never know who you are gonna get, you know? Just like this. Well, just like this. Her fiance girl, anyways, I, I'll link it down below. But that was messed up. That was real messed up, though. I need to stay off these crime shows. <laughs> but I can't help it. They just be calling me and calling me. Oh, child. I am greasy. I need... <laughs> It's later, y'all, but I need uh, some sort of, what can I do to get rid of this oily skin? I know it's summer and my face going to be oily. My face is always oily. What do y'all use on y'all's oily skin? Because this is, girl, this is crazy. I'm just glistening like a big old rotisserie chicken. But anyways, I got back on uh, to talk about um, dating apps. Have y'all used dating apps before? Have y'all? Well, I was just bringing it up because uh, y'all know the story that I was telling y'all earlier how the woman met her fiance on, on the dating app and of course he died and when he died all these women came out of the woodwork but I know some people who's who met on a dating app and still together nine years later which is one of one, one of my closest friends but I've met a lot of people on the dating apps I used to use dating apps when I first moved here um no I, I no wait a minute like right before I came here I met somebody on a dating app why is my lunch bag on child 
Joey just be putting stuff everywhere. Anyways, my lunch bag is on top of the wine rack. But anyways, <coughs> dating apps. I, um, you know what? I did use it when I was in Mississippi. I met two people. Girl, the first one I met, uh, he was real cool. He was a, um, I forgot what his profession was, but he was a manager over something, some, some sort of, um, was it a nursing? It was something, pretty much something. And we clicked, he was older. I'm trying to remember, that's why I'm looking far off. Y'all know when we think about stuff, we gotta look at, look at God to uh, give us a little guidance. <laughs> Like God gonna tell us what we can, what we remember. But um, he was older, and we clicked. I think I went. To, yeah, I went there to meet him. He was from Tennessee. I went there to actually meet him face to face because we were talking like on FaceTime and on the phones and stuff. Um, we went down. I went down there. I think it was my birthday weekend. Girl, my batteries looked up. I think it was my birthday weekend. Oh, red light special. Anyways, um, I had to change my battery, y'all. But this one, this guy I met off the dating app. He was, like I said, he was really cool. He had a town home. Um, I get there, and it looks like his place looks like quarters. Yeah, he claimed when we were talking, you know, getting to know one another, he claimed he would, you know, clean up every Sunday because he's busy throughout the week. He had, he had two kids and he would, he, I forgot what he did. He managed this certain facility and he would work all throughout the week. And like I said, he would clean up on Sunday. And when I got there, I wanted to say, which Sunday are you talking about? Ten months ago? Because it looked horrible. Y'all know I do not, I cannot stand when I see like dirt in the sink or especially dirt in the tub and a dirty toilet and a dirty bag. Everything was horrible to the point where I didn't even want to sit down. I go to the bathroom. I think I was there for like a good 30 minutes. Go to the bathroom and I was like, <gasps> girl, my eyes was so big. Like I seen a bug or something. <laughs> that's how big, that's, it, it was just, I didn't even want to sit on the toilet. It was horrible. It was horrible, y'all. I was like, oh my God. I was saying to God, I'm like, I got to be here for three days because I was staying for three days. I was like, oh my God, three days. Um, so like 45 minutes after I got there, um, my cousin called and told me that my, my other cousin had passed. I'm like, maybe that was a sign. Of, maybe that was a blessing in disguise, y'all. RIP to my cousin. Um, but I was... I cried all while I was there because I was only there for like 45 minutes until my cousin called me. And um, like I said, it was a blessing in disguise because I left the next day, the next morning. I didn't even take no shower. That's how dirty it was. I was like, you know what? God, you just, you just. <laughs> Girl, I was like, oh my God. Like, you know you about to have company. Why you just didn't clean up then? And you don't clean up every every Sunday. You don't. So after that, we still communicated. He, he actually sent me a picture of the shower where he cleaned it up. I was like, wow. And I want to say, hey, how come you didn't do that before I got there? Because that turns me off. I can't. That, that turns me off. And it did to see girl but he was a good guy very understanding very talkative uh very funny he was kind of built for his he was i don't know how old, how old was i then i think he was in his 40s i was in my 30s but uh he was a nice looking guy 
but it was just nasty. <laughs> but he was a good guy, but it just wasn't for me. And then there was another one before I moved to Texas. I, um, I started talking to him, and he would travel around everywhere to do stuff, uh, to build nurses' carts at a hospital, at different hospitals, which I know was a, le was a legit job because he flew me out to Vegas one time while he was, you know, doing a job. And he was cool too. He was quiet. Y'all know I'm quiet too. So it's like two quiet people ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. I need some, I need somebody with, that's an extrovert. <laughs> um, that talks. But he was cool too, but he, he, you can tell he had, he either had somebody stand with him or he had somebody else. Um, because there were plenty of times where I would be bored in Mississippi. Um, and he was from Jackson. Jackson was like two hours away from where I was staying. And there were times where I'm like, oh, I can just come up there and blah, blah, blah. And, and he would, you know, agree to it. But then when it's time for me to, you know, make my trip, he wouldn't answer the phone. So it's like, something going on here but we communicated all up until I moved um, he will help me out he helped me out with my trip my travel expenses and then he paid when I got to Texas he sent me some money for the rent and all that stuff we were cool but it's just I don't know it we just didn't we didn't I don't think we vibe because every time I tried to call like we were always I would call him, but he wouldn't answer, put it that way. So I felt like he had somebody else, which was fine with me because I'm in Texas and it's like I'm starting this new life. So it's like, you know, he was cool for a minute, you know. But when I moved to Texas, that's when I really started dating. I, started, <laughs> I had like two dates a day. You hear me? I was on the dating app called, well, actually, those two guys I met from Mississippi, they were, I met them off Tango. Tango was like a face time app which I thought was just a, only a FaceTime app but it was actually a dating app that's why I met them and then I stayed on there until I moved to Texas and I met a couple guys as well one guy I met there uh, off Tango he was really cool he was really sweet but y'all know I ain't try I wasn't trying to be in no kind of relationship or whatever I was just dating around so people can show me around the town or whatever so I met him and he just wanted to be in a relationship just like that and I'm like I ain't ready for that, you know? So one day, we, of course we were, um, he took me on plenty of dates and then one day we were on my couch watching TV. We all, all of a sudden just fell asleep. Girl, I wake up because I felt something wet on my shoulder, on my back. Tell me why he done slobbed all, all over my shoulder. Yeah. So I got turned off of that. Girl. <laughs> And I also, it's just, he wanted something, he wanted something more than what I wanted. And I kept telling him, I'm not ready for, I'm not ready for a relationship, I'm not ready for a relationship. I just want to be friends, but he didn't want that, so we parted ways. Um, and then I, I just met a whole bunch of, I, the dating app, I was just dating, that's what it was for, just to date. I didn't find nobody to, to say, oh my God, I want to be with this person. I didn't. You know, so I think sometimes the dating apps work. Like I said, my friend, um, she's married to a person that she met off a dating app, and they've been married for nine years. Um, and do I know anybody else that met off a dating app? I don't know. But I mean, sometimes they do work. And sometimes you can get, like, I've seen a lot of crime shows about how men and you know, stalk these women or unalive these women that they met on the app, on a dating app. So, all I'm trying to say is use it at, at your own risk. Dating apps can be good just to, just to date. And sometimes you can get your, you know, your fairy tale. You can get your husband. But, tying it all back to the, to the uh, man that uh, fell of a, you know, died of a heart attack. He had all these women, and they met, and she met him off a dating app, and all the other women that he met, um, I think he traveled for work or whatever, I think he met, met all of them off a dating app as well.
So you just got to be careful when it comes to dating apps. Make sure, like if you're just looking to date, then it's cool. But if you're looking for love on a dating app, don't look for love. Just, just play it by ear. Just be careful. Don't bring them to you. I know I messed up once and once or twice and brought them to my house, but I can tell they were good men. You know, they weren't out to attack me or anything because <laughs> they knew they knew who to play with. <laughs> but yeah, if you meet somebody off online, just be careful. Just meet out in public. Um, yeah, just meet out in public. If you like them, you like them, but just be very, very careful. I don't know how careful you can be, but I mean, you just got to be careful with anybody nowadays, you know, on a dating app, if you meet them face to face, just be careful. Just pray about that thing and just keep it moving, child. But anyways, um, yeah, girl. <sighs> but that's my dating experience. I, I have a lot of stories, but I just don't want to, I don't want to, you know put too much out there. I don't want to put too much of my business out there. Hey y'all, good morning. Happy Sunday. I guess I'm doing a little self-care because I need to put some TLC into this hair because it's a mess. It's, it's a mess, child. I just <laughs> I haven't washed my hair in so freaking long. And you know you have to be mentally prepared to wash your hair, especially natural hair. You have, have to be mentally prepared. Yesterday I was supposed to wash it, but I wasn't mentally prepared. Today I had to woosa and say, Christy, you got to wash your hair. And I haven't washed my hair in so long. I don't got it out of the, I don't even know what products I used to use. Right now, this is all I have in my collection is this Jamaican black casserole um, conditioner. Um, and then I use this to wash my hair, the Shape Moisture Shampoo. Um, yeah, it has apple cider vinegar, peppermint with shea, but shea butter. And then I use this biotin stuff for the thickening. And, girl, my things calm down. And I use this cheap treatment. I guess it's for the heat protectant. I think this is the one that you wash out. I have the one that you leave in. Yeah, this is when you wash out. But girl, I was trying to see if I wanted to do my natural hair like uh, a wash and go. But I was like, if I do that, that means I'm going to have to do my hair like every night. Because I be liking my hair to look all juicy and, and new for the next day. So it's like, I'll still be trying, I'll still be doing my hair at night. And then my natural hairstyles do not last so this weekend, if I were to do like the wash and go, I would have to do it over this weekend. So I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> I ain't trying to do no hair every weekend now. I need something that's going to last. But I probably just end up throwing that um, U part wig back on. Not U part, but headband wig. Even though I do want to do like the. Um, the clip ends, but that means I'm gonna have to straighten this part, you know, the top part of my hair. <sighs> so I don't know. I do not know, child. Girl. Y'all know when you ain't wash your hair in so long, all the hair. Oh, when you detangling, all your hair come out. That's what I'm dealing with, which is normal, but. I don't like that. <laughs> oh yeah, girl, we didn't do nothing yesterday. We didn't do anything. Um, Y'all know it's that time of the month, so it's like I don't want to do nothing. I'm feeling so exhausted and just blah. Ow. Ooh, child. Y'all hear them cookbooks? Ooh. Girl.
so I need to buy me some new products. I don't know what products I need to use. <laughs> it's been so long since I really just took some time with my hair. <sighs> and then I just cleaned this bathroom. So now I, I think I did everything backwards. I probably should have did my hair first and then clean the bathroom. So now I'm gonna be doing extra work, Charlie. I don't. But anyways, like I said, we didn't do nothing yesterday. We put up curtains, and I'm not liking the curtains because I thought I got the longest ones because these are kind of short. These, like, they fall like right underneath the windowsill, and I want them to touch the floor. So knowing me, I think I'm gonna get some more <laughs> because I don't like that look. Like I, I want my curtains to touch the floor. Okay. Uh, Joey was like, <laughs> they don't look bad. He was like, ain't that how they supposed to be? I was like, no, they supposed to touch the floor. Well, I like them to touch the floor. So, um, yeah, but I did sleep good this morning. The sun wasn't shining bright in our eyes, so we slept a little longer today. But I got up early anyways because I was cramping and yeah, I couldn't get comfortable at all. <sighs> but anyways. Girl. This part, this is the part that I hate. I don't mind washing my hair. I don't even mind blow drying it. Well, no, let me let me take that back. Blow drying and detangling. Oh, it's the part of the hair process that I hate. But yeah, this is my texture without anything in it. Um, I really, I do want to do a wash and go, but girl, I'm gonna have to think about it while this conditioner is sitting in here. Normally, I use I usually let my conditioner sit for about an hour or so. So that's what I think I'm gonna do right now, and then just um, finish washing clothes and all that, and then I'll uh, I'll rinse it out. I'm really heavy handed when it comes to conditioner. <laughs> and I really need to be heavy handed right now since I haven't washed my hair in so long. <sighs> but yeah, girl. I really don't have too much to talk about. I was just uh, showing y'all that I'm being productive. Because I was going to lay in that bed and watch... Uh, movies and stuff sure was I had drank my coffee I had got all settled and I was like girl get your big back up get your big back up that's what sure I had to sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself you gotta motivate yourself or else I will be laying in the bed girl this is all the hair that I have uh, in this little thing that's stuffed to capacity so I'm going to try to find my <laughs> clip-ins I'm going to try to find my clip-ins because I do want my we're going to see I'm going to wash my clip-ins and I'll show wash my headband wigs just in case and this ain't even I can, most, most of these wigs I can throw away because I've had them for so long and they're just either headband wigs or clip-ins. So yeah, let me try, let me try to find this freaking wig. Alright y'all, I got the, I think this is a V-part wig and this is a V-part wig um, and this is the headband wig. I got these in here soaking with my Shea Moisture. I probably should have just used um, the conditioner, but I didn't. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards the the V-part wig, I think. 
I don't know yet. <laughs> but yeah, we got these soaking for a little while. Um, and I still got to wash out my hair, which I haven't done it yet. But yeah, girl, we getting it started. I think I only got like Hey y'all. The best fits so much better. Like I was saying, I had to like bring my boobs up. Child, I'm sitting up here watching um Peyton. <clears throat> and and trying to curl this hair. I'm not gonna curl it really good because I don't have yeah, child, I ain't got that much time. I'm just gonna curl like the bottom of it and then bump my hair. I ended up putting it, the U part wig in. Um And don't talk about how I'm curling my hair because I'm just uh, putting a few curls in it just to give it, you know, so it won't look so flat. So that's what I'm doing now. Did this weekend, we didn't even leave the house. Normally, Joy would go and, you know, go to the grocery store, go somewhere. Didn't leave the house. And I, <laughs> I promise you, I don't feel bad about it because it was hot. Hot. We went outside to uh, spring like the um uh, we made us a little concoction with the uh because we have a lot of wasp for some reason so we made us a little co concoction with um <laughs> apple cider vinegar peppermint and water and it worked but they're still flying around here they're not we we you know we sprayed their nests and everything they're still flying around but it's like where are they coming from so, uh, yeah, that little concoction works because I think the peppermint kind of, um, they don't like that peppermint smell. So, we had to look that up on the internet because I'm like, and then he bought, or he bought some spray to put in the grass and all that and spray around the house. But, child, I don't know. We probably going to have to get pest control out here. Um, just break down and get pest control so they can. Even though I don't think that that's going to help with the wasp, but whatever. As long as we ain't got no dog on bugs, I, if I, if I see a roach, y'all can have this damn house. You hear me? I am, mm -mm. As long as those kind of things aren't coming into the house or around the house, I'm fine. But if I see a roach, girl, mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. Yeah, girl, I'm gonna have to flat out my hair. I don't know what possessed me to <laughs> mm, put a U part wig on with my hair out. I don't, girl, I don't know. I don't know, girl. natural hair when I washed it and blow dried it it has grown out a lot um especially the bang part y'all know I cut my bangs 
I forgot when I cut my bangs, but they found they are growing out. Cause at first they, I cut them to like I know it was up to like right here, because I had so much heat damage. But it don't grow out, child. So, but I still need to get it cut because it's so. Oh, my ends are bad. Uh, do I want to do like the little? And this is the Upro wig that I got from I wanna say it was Love Me Hair, if I'm not mistaken. And I always thought it was so thin. So I had to I got a clip in right here and a clip in right here to make it look thicker. But yeah, girl. Yeah, that's my clip in. I'm gonna have to. I gotta see if it's steamed up a little bit. I think Kiana took my other flat irons. The ones I got from Timu. I wanna say she took them because I cannot find them. But luckily I had these. And these, uh, they don't, they don't work too good. I need to buy me some more flat irons. I feel like they leave my hair. I don't know. It just don't work to me. Okay. So I believe my hair gonna be pooped up by the end of the day. I can tell. It is. I put some of that wild stuff on there um and for some reason that stuff don't do nothing do nothing for my hair don't do nothing you hear me and i see everybody else using it like it keeps your hair straight and all this but it don't my hair still be poofed up Now, had I woke up a little bit, woke up a little bit earlier, I probably would have did these curls better. But it's all good. I'm make sure I bring a a, a ponytail holder holder because I feel like my hair is gonna poof up because it's already given what it's supposed to not give. <laughs> so this stuff, this beeswax. But I don't know how to actually use it. I put it on. Girl. Oh. Mm. I think you're supposed to. I should have plugged up my, uh, my straightener. Because I think you're supposed to put it on there and then straighten your hair. Well. Girl. It's just gonna have to do today because <laughs> girl, what possessed you? What possessed you to where you part wig in this hundred hundred degree weather? I don't know what possessed you to do that, but I don't. I need you not to do it no more because this is ridiculous. Let's see. So when it poops up, it's just going to look like
yeah, when it poops up, uh, I think I'm just going to throw. Do, do it like this. <laughs> but I got a feeling as soon as I get to work and walk in that air, it's going to poof up. In that air, I mean in that heat, it's going to poof the hell up. Child, it is hot. You hear me? If the uh, air is blowing loud, I am sorry. I will just scream to the top of my lungs because it is hot outside. Um, <laughs> I bought me a little uh, HEB meal, but I didn't really want that. It's a shepherd's pie, and that wasn't, I don't know, that didn't meet my expectation the first time I tried it. And I made a mistake and got two, like I told y'all in previous vlogs. So, I left it in the doggone refrigerator at work, um, and then I went to the cafeteria. Don't know why I went there. They had, like, so-called Chinese food, egg rolls, and I guess um, shrimp fried rice, but the egg rolls look so burnt, and the shrimp fried rice looks so mushy. <sighs> yeah. So, I'm outside drinking this protein shake. I, this is my second one, because I had one earlier. Um... I was trying not to snack, y'all know. I was like, oh, I want some chips. <laughs> I want some damn chips. So I, I, I chugged that around, I think, at like mm, 9 o'clock, 9.30. And then I'm drinking this protein shake. Child, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I know I'm going to be hungry in a few minutes. I know I am. Um, but yeah, girl, I need to be going to Walmart. I need to go somewhere and get me some uh, bottled water because y'all know we have um, the refrigerator with the water thing on there. And Joey just all of a sudden just stopped buying water. I'm like, he's like, you can get something from the refrigerator. I'm like, not saying um, something's wrong with it. It's just like it's easier for me to grab a bottle of water than to actually get my tumbler and fill it up. It just takes too much time when I can just grab a bottle of water and, and chug it. So I don't, I'm not drinking as much water uh, on the weekends. I drink a lot of water here because y'all don't have that big old jug. But it's like when I get home, I got to fill up my cup with ice and pour. Yeah. So I need to go get me some bottle of water because apparently Joey don't want to. I don't know. He done been to the store umpteen times and they ain't got me no damn water. So. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, to Walmart. Mm, I'm going to try to go to Walmart today. I don't know. It's just so damn hot. My car is reading 105. And I've been sitting here for the past uh, 13 minutes. And the thing ain't went down yet. It's 105 degrees. And I think my, my camera's going to overheat in a little while. But anyways, it's so hot, my nose is running. So if y'all hear me sniffing, that's why. Every time I get hot, I don't know if y'all noticed in some of, in most most of my videos, I'm like, Shh. because when I get hot, girl, my nose go to running. You hear me? Anyways, y'all, I was listening to Chelsea Janae. Let me see if I can pull it up. And not saying those things aren't valid because, like, they are valid. But just being transparent and looking back, y'all, I 
swear on everything, I wish I would have never left that apartment. Like, when I pass by those apartments, I'd be about to cry. Like, I feel like I move around a lot because because when my lease is up by the way we're moving <laughs> just just so y'all can know but i feel like i i'm constantly chasing this feeling of home because i just feel like i've been so unstable in my life to where i'm just looking for something that just feels like home and that apartment was home like it felt so good and i also feel like what's for you will not be confusing will not be difficult will not put you through hell and back and y'all know like i feel like that was god trying to tell me like because i didn't have to leave my apartment like i didn't have to leave at all i feel like that was god telling me like just chill stay where you at like i i felt so safe there i loved the community i was like one of the first people to live there when the apartments opened so i knew everybody everybody knew me even though they hadn't switched management about one or two times I still knew all of those people like I knew everybody out there and we loved living out there so I just felt like I was not listening to God even though I felt like I was moving on my own and then towards the end I wanted to pray and I wanted to cry and I wanted to ask God like I was angry at God because I felt like what's tea like what's going on like I know you didn't bring me to Atlanta for me not alright y'all my camera overheated but hold on you stay where you was at like y'all like it's so crazy because like imagine ima like the townhouse is cool but that was never ever 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 in my like in my like what I wanted it was never what I wanted I, I Anyways, basically what she was saying was she should have, the apartment that she had before the town home, she really liked it, she enjoyed it, she felt like she was safe there, but being that she got more money, she felt like she needed more space, and basically God was just telling her to um, be still. You know, it wasn't her, it wasn't God telling her to move into the, uh, uh, the townhouse that she has now, it was her being that she had, I think she was saying, I didn't I listened to it, but I didn't. Y'all know I was at work. <laughs> I was getting calls, but but anyway, she was like basically it was just God telling her to be still because she was comfortable where she was. Um, so I was as she was talking, I was thinking about dang. Um, I've been going through. Y'all know I've been trying to work from home or whatever, and I've been going on a lot of well doing a lot of interviews, uh, work from home jobs, and I will get that uh doggone letter of um thank you for your time you know we went with somebody else with more experience and blah blah, blah this and blah, blah blah that there was two jobs that i felt two job interviews that i felt like went really really well and i was like i would love to work for this company um this company one of the companies were was in birmingham and they offered all this you know extra stuff all the pto holidays and all of that and it seemed like the, the management was really really good and the interview went really good and um with that interview i had my hopes up high because the doggone recruiter really just it was her fault <laughs> the recruiter emailed me she was like it was like later on in the day i think they're like two hours was it this job Yes, it was this job. I don't think this this one was in Birmingham. And the recruiter was out of... I forgot which state she was out of, but she was like two hours behind me. So I got this email around 6 o'clock saying, um, tomorrow I'm going to call you with more updates um, about the position or whatever. So I'm getting like... Because normally I don't get updates i'll get like an update saying or like an e a final email stating that hey uh, we went with somebody else and blah, blah blah but this one she was like i'll give you more updates i think that's what it said i had to look through my emails and i just put it right there what she said and it really had my hopes up i was like okay so i'm gonna wait on a uh, a call i'm getting like really really nervous um she was like the uh, the interview went really really well. The manager re managers really like you, and I'm gonna give you an update tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow came and she didn't uh, contact me. 
Did she contact me the next day? I think she, con yeah, it, she contacted me the next day and she was like, I'm sorry for the wait, but I, I'm, I promise you I'm going to call you about more updates. So I'm thinking like, okay, she talking about update. Well, maybe I have the job. I was, I was like, really, really, the way the email was worded, like I said, I put it on the screen and I showed Joe, he was like, babe, that sounds promising. Girl, call me stating that they are gonna go the managers decide that they're gonna change the requirements or whatever whatever for the job and I was so disappointed with that one so I was like <sighs> and she was like and I notify you uh, what, what the requirements are uh, and I'll let yeah I'll let you know as soon as I know something because I don't know right now so I'm thinking okay I'm still in a run or whatever and um, she called me a couple of days later um, no, she didn't call me. She emailed me saying that they went with someone else with more experience. Y'all know I only have an associate's degree. And I think um, the website was saying something about you need your bachelor's in uh, RHIA or something. Something like that. I can't remember the specifics. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me keep on uh, looking for another job. Found another job that was out, out of California. Um, so I would have been getting like California pay. Um, the job was going to be from Tuesday through... Tuesday through Saturday um, from 8 to 4.30 or something like that. Saturdays, she she was telling me all this stuff. Saturdays, you can take, you know, you can come in early or whatever, so you want to be there all day. Well, not be there, but, you know, work all day on a Saturday. Um, they were doing it basically the same thing I was doing, discharge analysis and this and that and this and that. And the interview, I don't think I told y'all about this interview because I was so heartbroken with this one. The interview went really, really, really well. It was a, it was two. They look my age, you know, or younger managers, um, and we just vibe really good. Like, I mean, it, it was really good, and it was so good that they asked for my, well, not the managers, but the recruiter, sent me an email to ask for my references. That normally comes with the onboarding process. Like they'll tell you you have your have the job, and then they're asked for your references. Well, that's what that's what I thought. That's you know that's been my experience. I don't know. Maybe companies do it different. Some companies do it different. But she was like, she sent me uh, the survey to send to my references or whatever. I sent them to my references, and they all sent me their you know the survey. They all got finished with the survey probably like a day later. Or maybe later on, later that day. Did all this, had to reach out to everybody. Because most of them, it was only three. One of them was my former, well not, uh, the one that I used to work for part time. Where I used to go to all the medical offices and, you know, get records or whatever for uh, insurance purposes. That's a job that I really like, but of course it was just part time. I, that one was her. One of them was my really, really good friend that we got close. We met at work, and then she became my team lead, and then she moved on to whatever, and then now she's uh, moved out of state. One of them, that one was her, and then another one was the girl that I used to, she used to be my ROI person at the other hospital, so we stayed in touch or whatever. So I, you know, these three references, I got the, told them the dates, hey, I put this date, because sometimes I can't even remember the dates, child. So... I was like, this looks, this sounds promising for them to ask for my references, you know? They asked for my references. <sighs> Day or two later, they said they went with somebody else. I'm like, so what, 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 what the freak was the uh, purpose of the references? Me giving you all this information for nothing. Girl, I was, I was hurt. I, I, not to the point where I was crying, but I was just like, Maybe it's like Chelsea was saying, maybe it's just God telling me to be still. Just, you know, wait to hear his voice. I I mean, maybe it was just me. It Well, of course, it's just me wanting to be at home. But maybe it's just not meant for me to be at home right now. So, thank you, Chelsea Janae. Y'all, I'm sure y'all know who Chelsea Janae is. I put her um, uh, YouTube in my description box. But it's like, maybe it's just God telling me to be. I'm, of course, I've. I thought about that being that I've got rejected so many times, but it's like, girl, to hear her say some that stuff about the apartment and all this stuff is like, 
Girl, just be still. Just, just you know, listen for God. Just he, he has your back. He knows. He knows what he has called you to do. He know that you ain't gonna be in this situation for long. Just be still. Stop rushing stuff. Cause as soon as you rush stuff and then you step out there when you're thinking it's God, and it ain't God. It's you. So. I said all that to say I'm just gonna chill out on I mean I'm gonna still be looking <laughs> but it ain't gonna be constant like child why the hell do I get all these boogers in my eyes well it ain't the boogers I think it's just the makeup because when I put the makeup all I'm trying to say is God just told me to be still for a minute because to get all these rejections it gotta be something pretty much something and I you know I've had all this experience and I'm still getting rejected it gotta be something child so I'm gonna sit my little happy ass at this uh facility for a little while calm my nerves stop being so I don't know I can't even describe how I'm being how I was being I was like in that I don't care mood like I'm gonna get out of here you know so yeah I just need to buckle down and Keep praying child <laughs> i gotta keep praying but anyways um what time is it? i think it's time to clock in try my hat look a mess look at this look at this <sighs> anyways i'm gonna talk to y'all later so i can go and clock in child and be productive <laughs> because apparently i'll be staying here for a while until the lord says so ain't that right lord that right